Jesus. I'm just going to read a few verses from uh, 1 Corinthians. Now about the gifts of the Spirit, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, somehow or other, you were influenced and led astray to mute idols. Therefore, I want you to know that no one who is speaking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus be cursed, and no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone, it is the same God at work. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom, to another a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by that one Spirit, to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between Spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues, and to still another the interpretation of tongues." All of these are the work of one and the same Spirit, and he distributes them to each one, just as he determines. So, just a little bit of context on those verses, because you might be thinking, ooh, spiritual gifts, didn't know that that's what this was all about today. Well, Paul's writing a letter to the church at Corinth, talking about spiritual gifts uh, and explaining what they are, Those verses come in the middle of a section of Paul's letter where he's actually talking more collectively about worship. And we've had a a series, haven't we, on Together in Worship. Um, And it's really important to remember that worship is really closely related to spiritual gifts because part of our worship to God is all about the use of our gifts for God. And it says in verse 4 that there are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them, and different kinds of service, but the same Lord. And I think, or rather I hope, that at the end of today, you'll appreciate that actually that's what today is all about, a celebration of gifts and talents and acts of service that we can all be part of, we can all share, we can all give and receive but be giving thanks and praise to God at the same time. James uh, chapter 1, verse 17 tells us that every gift is from God. And we've all got different gifts and talents, and they're all important. You might be thinking, I don't, I don't think I've got anything. Well, I bet you if we spent five minutes talking, there would be something that comes to mind. Because our gifts and talents come in lots of variety, uh, creative, musical, practical, technical, administrative, uh, some are relational, some are recreational, you know, just being a good listener, a baker, a coffee maker, having the gift to just care for somebody, play with little ones or relate to the older generation or play uh, play football with teenagers, you know, whatever it is, actually these are all gifts that we can share between ourselves for the community and for God and for the blessing of of everybody. There's a lady that I went to visit some while ago. Uh, She's not here because she's not very well and she's very, very shy. And I don't think she'd want me to particularly tell you who she is. But I went and did a visit um, and I'm sat having a little chat and I noticed on the wall a really nice uh, piece of art and I commented on it. And she said very shyly, I did that. And I was like, oh, really? And it opened up a wonderful conversation about her passion for drawing and art. And she she pulled out a little box and said, do you want to see some more? And she showed me quite a few. And after that, it made me think, I bet you there's loads of people here that have got little lights under bushels, you know, little gifts and talents that you just enjoy doing that you don't particularly share that nobody knows about. And I'm really, really delighted with the response that we've had uh, to this morning. And I want to say a huge thank you to all of you that have um, 
brought something to share because I know some of you it's a little bit out of your comfort zone so as you're going around I just want to encourage everybody to encourage everybody um, because uh, you know it's, it, this is a really really exciting thing to share share some gifts but what I love about the verse in James is that he says that all gifts are important you know not just the obvious ones not just the ones that we might know about but all gifts are important. And we're celebrating community now, aren't we? We're in a, a current series of Together in Community. And last week, Matt, uh, Matt talked about being rooted in sharing life in God. And I think that's what, I think that's what today's about. You know, we're going to get a chance to enjoy church, being alive in community and relating to the God of community. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 10 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. You know, church ministry comes in lots of different ways. It comes, uh, you know, in the obvious way. So you might think of the, the leadership team and the ministries that go on. So the children's work or the youth work or Matt's ministry or, or pastoral work. But actually there's lots of elements to ministry and there are lots of uh, opportunity this morning to see some of the areas of church life where you might be able to uh, share your gifts and come on board. There might be things happening that you didn't even really know about. But again, it's about being a community. It's about being together. It's about, hopefully, you might be thinking, oh, I wonder if I could get involved in that. I'd quite like to do that. Um, so, Get involved, have chats with people. There are lots of things happening in the halls out of the back, but don't forget there's going to be lots of things happening in here. So worship on a Sunday morning and the way the service is constructed and, and just the very fact that it actually happens the way that it does is actually from uh, the gifts and talents of quite a few different people. And they will be in here hoping to share those with you. So if it's something that you would like to get involved in from a technical point of view, then do talk to the people in here. So I just want to encourage you to explore today. It might feel a bit strange getting up and getting a coffee halfway through, but I can assure you, you're going to have a good time. And then after about, I don't know, half an hour, unless you're having a really, really good time and we have to make it longer, we're going to come back into the sanctuary uh, and just finish the service together. For those of you online, I'm really sorry, but this is where you will end uh, your service for today because uh, from my prayer in a moment, it won't be live streamed after that. But don't forget to get a, a coffee um, and don't forget to just... Do what you want to do, but I do encourage you to mingle and, and have a look round. So let's just pray together. Heavenly Father, it is so wonderful to think that you have blessed us all with gifts and talents. And that you want us to use them for our own pleasure, for the blessing of others, but ultimately for your glory. And I pray now, Lord, that as we enjoy this time and this space in a very different way, you will be at work, Lord, and that we will very much know your presence as we just enjoy sharing and being together. We pray these things in your name. Amen.